to stay hydrated. Hello, everyone. How was everyone's Easter long weekend? Hello, hello. If you're on, please say hi. I've got, I see I've got quite a few viewers, but no names yet, so I'll say hello. Anyways, I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Um, hey, Sabrina. I had four glorious days off. Forgive my look, but I'm coming with you today. I uh, spent hours cleaning my house and food prep. So, uh, hello, hello. Oh, by the way, I hope your fiance is angry doing a bit better, Sabrina. I know it's going to take some time to heal, especially with the chip fracture. Hey, Christy. I cooked and cleaned today, and then I showered, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to put any makeup on or do my hair. So this is my version of a five-minute face. Yes, it includes lips and <laughs> eyeshadow and brows, but I did as fast as possible. Hey, Tessa, so when my hubby came home, you know, it wasn't just the house that was looking good, that I looked slightly okay as well. By the way, if any of you had any Easter treats this weekend or Passover treats, whatever, please tell me and share with me and make me jealous. You know, I don't eat sugar. Um, uh, I really miss the days of the Easter bunny, the chocolate milk chocolate Easter bunny with the crisp, like the Rice Krispies in it. Um, I used to like Cadbury cream eggs, but nothing's ever as good when you're an adult as you, as when you had it as a kid. And um, what else did I like? Oh, just those chocolate eggs with the crunchy shell. Who makes those? Does anybody know? Anyways, I don't want to go off on a tangent there, but if you have any um, holiday favorite candies or Easter candies, let me know. Make me a little bit uh, make me a little bit jealous. Okay, so I realize that not everybody likes lipstick. Okay, I get it. Okay, sorry. I'm 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 predicting the future for you, Sabrina. If you didn't know, I'm clairvoyant. He will become your fiance very soon. You're welcome. <laughs> Assuming that's what you want. Um, he's in a lot of patches. Oh, that's awful. Well, he's lucky he's in good hands and being taken care of. So hopefully, turnabout will be fair play and he will take care of you when the time comes. But hopefully, that's not anytime soon. Okay. So I guess some people don't like lip products. That's shocking to me because if I don't put any makeup on, I'll put on big sunglasses and I'll put lipstick on because to me that's, that's a complete look. Um, I think some people don't like lip products because of how some of them can feel or they're simply not comfortable in color. In fact, I have a cousin who, when I first introduced her to this makeup line, she's like, oh no, I don't want to any lip products, I don't like my lips, I don't like lip color. I'm like, oh my god, you have gorgeous lips, you have a beautiful skin tone. You need to wear lip color, and now she loves lip products. So I think sometimes it's just it's just a bit of um, a stumbling block. People aren't used to it, so they don't know um, what to do. But I'm going to show you three products today for people who don't, if you don't like lipstick. Here are some great alternatives to add color to your lips. So let me just sort it out here. So I'm wearing lip stain. Now, the first time I heard... about lip stain, I'm like, ooh, that sounds drying. I live in a place where it's practically winter six months out of the year. Hello, Pamela. I live in a place where it's practically winter six months out of the year. The last thing I want to do is dry out my lips. And a lot of lip stains do have alcohol in them, and they will be drying. But the one I discovered is water-based and not drying. Now, hopefully you can see, because I've got a bunch of comments on my screen. So I put this on earlier today before my husband came home and he gave me a big fat smooch when he came home and as you can see I've been drinking water and I've also had dinner and I still have a ton of color and the stain doesn't go anywhere. See? That's a lily white hand. Let's do it again. Lily white hand and no color. So that's the beauty of this stain. You don't need any special remover to take it off. It will wear off. You can use a cloth with maybe water or your favorite um, makeup remover or um, special makeup removing cloth. 
cloth. I think Sabrina might know something about that, but it doesn't require any special potion to get it off like some other stains out there. So I want to show you the color that I'm wearing and I'm going to swatch just three of my favorite because I, I really do love these because they do give instant color and they just are so long lasting. So I love Serendipitous and Skittish and Shameless. Those are my three favorite if I if I had to pick. So, hello Shannon, how are you? Hey, I hope your products are arriving soon. I'm gonna swatch them on my wrist just because I have some lotion on my hand and I want them to be on a non-oily surface. So that's the color that I have on my lip. That is skittish. They come in these cute little tubes and um, it freaks me out every time I do that that it doesn't spill. But don't shake it, but if you can turn it upside down, it won't spill. Next favorite color I have is called Serendipitous, and it is a pretty purple. And then my third favorite shade, and these come in, I don't even know how many shades now, over 10 shades. Um, as you can see, I like bright colors. Oh, I love this one. This is called Shameless. What's so great about them? Hello, Lily. What's so great about them is they're absolutely buildable, but if you just want to set it and forget it and go for the day, you'll have great lip color, but it is buildable and you'll never get that tackiness and it won't, and that's not stain, that's the color of my finger. Um, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't run or smudge. So I love lip stains, won't dry out your lips, won't transfer to um, your coffee cup or your loved one. So I love it, and they come in. They come in all sorts of shades. You can get um, more modest shades, I guess. But I love bright, so that's what I'm sharing with you. So skittish, serendipitous, shameless. Those are my top three picks. But I just like I like bold lips, and it will never feel like lipstick on your lips. So lip stains. Mm -hmm. And my tip: if you're gonna buy them, buy them in threes because they're cheaper that way. Okay, the next thing is actually lip liner. Again, if you don't like the thought of reapplying your lipstick or you don't like how some lipsticks transfer, go for a really good lip liner. Um, I love these ones, you know these are the unique ones because they're soft enough to use all over your lip but they're non-feathering, non-bleeding and also it will create a matte finish and very, very minimal transfer. And I'm gonna show you, oh God, I have them all, but I'm gonna show you three of my favorite colors with in these guys, let's see. So we've got, oh, I should have sharpened this. This is so awkward. That is peachy. Love that one, especially for spring. Again, I like colors, so let's try this one. That is perky. I love how vivid the colors are coming across on this camera. Sometimes I feel like Facebook doesn't upload it in high enough depth. And then that's pouty. So those are three of my favorite lip liners. Peachy, perky, and pouty. <laughs> I have to try to get them all around the right order there. And again, just great way, like they're not dry yet, but you can see, I don't want to rub too hard because I haven't given them a chance to set. Okay, so you can see Again, they haven't set, they haven't even been on there for 60 seconds for sure, and you can see they don't move. And then this should be pretty dry as well. Uh, look at that. So that's the staying power of those guys. Love them. And again, they will not dry out your lips. Okay, finally. If you're like, but Rachel, I still want something more subtle. I don't, I don't know the meaning of the word subtle when it comes to color and pattern, but if you want something more subtle, something else that I've absolutely fallen in love with is our lip bonbons, and they are a tinted lip treatment. It is not a lip balm. Don't compare it to a labello or anything like that. It is made of far higher ingredients, high quality ingredients. Hey, Heather, how are you? Uh, hello, Jenna. Um, and they come in these beautiful metallic twist tubes. Oh, you have the bonbons, um, Shannon? They come in these beautiful metallic twist tubes. So first of all, if you have pets, they can't chew through this. They're gonna hurt their teeth. Or if you have kids, they can't open them. So it's a cool little feature, especially if you have four-legged ones or little ones that wanna get into your stuff. 
So these are infused with fruit oils and extracts. I never know all the science behind the products. I just know that they work and that's why I share them. So these are a sheer tint. So it's gonna moisturize and nourish your lips while giving a bit of color. Uh, they come in five shades. My husband has the neutral one because he loves how it makes his lips feel. So I can't show you that one, but it's called Vanilla Milkshake and it goes on nude. But I'm gonna show you the tinted ones. So this is the one I put on morning, noon, and night. You see that really pale pink tint? That's called Raspberry Cheesecake. I have been using this every day for I don't know how many months, literally when I wake up and literally when I go to bed, several swipes back and forth and I still have that much left. It's not waxy like a lip balm, so it doesn't, doesn't wear down fast. I don't know why, it's, it's not like anything you've ever tried before, I promise. Another, I like them all, and they're all named after desserts. This one is a red velvet cake. This one has a bit of a, more of a color, so get the red velvet cake, the red velvet cake, for those that like a little more color. In fact, I'm gonna put this one over my lip stain just to give it a little shimmer again. Hello, Natasha, how are you? I'm just showing the girls the bonbons. And then we've got, now I always screw up these guys. They're both more coral shade. I think this is chocolate truffle. You see it's got a bit of a coral. And then the final one that we have is cherry cobbler. So we've got raspberry cheesecake, red velvet cake, chocolate truffle, and cherry cobbler. So they just kind of range it in from roses to coral. I love them all. Um, I wear them all I, and uh, I layer them either under my lipstick or under my um, lip liner and even over my stains. They have a beautiful um, sugary taste to them but yet they're not scented so I don't know I guess that's the fruit extract so there's the colors of the lip balms for those of you that just want a sheer hint of color while moisturizing and nourishing and protecting your lips but for those of you who want something a little more vivid these are the lip stains and these are the lip layers and again you can see this makeup, I always call this performance makeup because I didn't put any primer on my skin. You saw me just apply it bare. That's just how much it stays. And then before I wrap up, I want to show you guys the absolute lazy makeup that I did today. My makeup is so lazy. I put on BB cream and concealer and obviously a lip stain. But everything else you see, and I mean everything, my brows, my eye makeup, my eyeliner, even my cheek color. Just watch. Oh, Shannon, tell you what, I'll connect with you personally after this, but if you want to look at the colors, go to my website, www.thedorkydiva.ca. When you get on my website, go for lips, and then it will be under stiff upper lip stain. You can see all the colors there. Before you purchase anything, please tell me what you're considering so I can send you swatches on my arm or pictures of people wearing it or even a picture of me wearing it but I love these lip stains and a little product goes a long way because you're literally just saturating um, the sponge and putting it over your lips so it's really really long lasting um, also Unlike a lipstick, it won't melt in high heat. We don't have that issue too much here, but that's another thing. Also, this won't melt in high heat. I'll just put lipstick when they are in my purse in a car when it's 40 degrees. So that's actually another bonus about those. Okay, but I was talking about my lazy day makeup, which doesn't look too bad considering I did this fast. Guys, I used my brow palette for everything. So I took this, hey Tamika, I took this beautiful pink, which I will swatch there on my hand. Can you see that? Do you see that pink? I put that all over my entire lid. Then I used, hold on, I'm running out of space here, that champagne that's not showing up. Let's do it somewhere else. Let's put the champagne right here. 
You can see a little bit of a shimmer. So I put that pink all over my whole lid. Then I took this light brown, filled in my crease really fast, took the dark brown liner, and then did my brows with a combination of both. Then on my cheek, yeah, I'm gonna show you. It's this gorgeous pink. See that? Oh. I don't know what this is. They need to make this in big pans because I want to rub my face in it. I know it's some kind of highlight, but they really need to make a blush, a cream blush, because I love cream blush. I love this pink highlight. And I just love the way it feels and blends. So that's what I put on my face, guys. I did all of my eyes and all of my cheek with this, including my brows, including my liner, including my eyeshadow. You can't get any faster or lazier than that. And I guess I can't call myself lazy considering all the cooking and cleaning I did today, but it was a way that I could feel pulled together without having to worry about um, figuring out what I want to put on. Sometimes I have way too much choice, so this is what I did. You guys, this is not gonna come off very easy. You know what I should do? If I didn't have to go to work tomorrow, I would leave this on through all of my hand washing and showering to show you guys how long this will last because even when I scrub this off, there's probably, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's the lip balm. Even when I scrub this off, there's gonna be some, um, some remnants of it there. So, before I sign off, does anybody have any questions about the the tinted lip balms or the lip stains or the lip liners. Hey Nikki, how are you? If you don't have any questions, you can always reach out to me on Messenger. Hello Lorena, or drop me a comment below. Like I said, everything that I showed you is available at www.thedorkydiva.ca. But before you buy anything, please reach out to me because I want to help assess your needs. Make sure it's the right product for your lifestyle, for your skin type, and also the right shade and tone for your skin type. And don't forget, Oh, there are still about two weeks left to get your hands on the Flawless 4, which is the liquid foundation, the liquid concealer, the primer, and the brush. I heard that we're low on some colors, so I don't expect it to last till the end of the month, so get your order in now. You are getting the liquid foundation absolutely free. There is a love it guarantee, uh, 14 days to get a full uh, refund or exchange and then there's also 430 and 60 days as well if you have any concerns about the love it guarantee let me know I'll fire you a message but here's the fun part remember it, if I uh, get 10 people in the flawless four bundle Luke will do my makeup but if I can get 20 people in the flawless four bundle I'm gonna do his makeup. come on guys help a sister out here You'll help yourself out, you'll get great makeup, you'll get free foundation, but I'll also do my hubby's makeup. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go wash off all these beautiful colors. And um, hope you all have a beautiful and amazing week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.